I've known Julie Clark since the late 1980s when she moved to Southwest Florida and I had got her interested in modeling. She did a lot of swimwear modeling and had won a regional swimwear pageant which took her to the Venus Swimwear National Pageant where she placed first runner-up. She looked amazing walking the runway in this leopard print bikini that I'd given her to compete in, which I'm sure caught the judge's eye. All contestants had to compete wearing a Venus swimsuit, and most were wearing the same couple of styles. Julie walked out in this suit that none of the other girls had, and that made a lasting impression on the judges. During the evening gown and interview portion of the pageant, Julie came out in a stunning dress that captivated the judges once again, and her interview was very sweet. It was the first time I had heard her say she had a deep desire to go skydiving. Especially if she has fish that glow at night. Okay, you are Julie Clark. Hi, Julie. Hi. Congratulations. Tell you, are we all right here? Let's just move up just a second so my judges can see you right there. I don't want to move you out of the light. You are from uh, Naples, Florida. Yes, I am. The Floridian, born and raised in Florida? No, I was born in Arizona and I was raised in Georgia. Okay, your father was in the military? Um, no, he worked for the government. Same thing, so got you around. Did, which did you enjoy most? About? Uh, at which place, I'm sorry. Oh, um, I love Naples. I wouldn't want to go back to Georgia. So you like the, like the sun? I love the sun, like I love the, the beach. Uh -huh. now, so have you ever done any contests like this before, Julie? None, I've never done any modeling or anything. I was in Venus last year, though. So this is kind of the, this is happening, and you're only 18? I think you're the youngest of our 24. No, eight. I'm 19. Oh, you're 19 now. Well, you must have just turned 19 since you had, uh, since at least my card says you're, are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. I wanted to make sure. These cards are always right. Now, you like to rollerblade. I see people doing this going down the streets. Uh, I've got to get a pair. Is it fun? Oh, it's great. It's great exercise. You can, you can move a lot with your body, and it's great. I like to dance a little bit. <laughs> I'd like to watch. Now, <laughs> you, you, like, you would like to skydive. Oh, I think that would be the greatest. I would, haven't you ever just wanted to free fall from a plane? I think that would be so exciting. <laughs> and she wiggles when she roller skates. Why not? Uh, no, I really haven't, but, I, but, I, but you would do that. Yes, I would be more than happy. Wouldn't scare you at all? Oh, I'd be terrified. But that's fun for you. I think it'd be great. Are you terrified right now at all? Um, no, not at all. Not at all. Well, you're doing well. Good luck to you, Julie. Thank you very much. Julie Clark. Julie is five foot six from Fort Myers Athletic Club, where she works. Likes to rollerblade, draw, skydive someday, maybe. Julie would go on to have a successful modeling career, grace the cover of several magazines, and became Playboy's Miss March 1991. She also appeared in several movies, including the cult classic Weekend at Bernie's. Julie would realize her dream of jumping out of a plane and skydiving. She loved it so much she would go on to log 250 jumps. Unfortunately, she broke her collarbone after bumping into another skydiver during a formation jump and was no longer able to skydive after that. When Julie and I reunited in 2005 to do some photography for her website, I found out that she could no longer jump and the adrenaline rush she craved was gone. I wanted to find a way to help her get that thrill back, so I took her to several amusement rides in the Orlando area and needless to say she was having a blast. Hey, come here and explain to me what that is. That's the slingshot. Yeah? This one, it blows you out of a volcano, so it's extra special. And, and is it like the tallest one or something? That's the tallest one, supposedly. In, in Florida? In Florida. No, in the world. In the world. <laughs> and you did it? I did it. <laughs> All right. Look cool. See you. See ya. One of them was a place on International Drive called Sky Venture, 
which was a vertical wind tunnel and they suited you up and let you fly which simulated skydiving. The smile on Julie's face said it all and I had succeeded in bringing the thrill back. Here's how it all went down in 2005. We are on our way to Sky Venture, which is a simulated skydiving experience. It's a high energy vertical wind tunnel, 120 mile an hour winds. And I have been skydiving, it's been several years ago, but I logged over 250 jumps. So it's been a while, but this experience is, is something that should be somewhat familiar. So after so many jumps, is there one that sticks out in your mind as your favorite? Oh, probably the best one ever was a jump that we made um, in Naples onto Key Wayden Island, me and a couple of friends. And we rented a plane from Naples Airport, and we jumped onto a small strip of beach on Key Wayden Island. Then our friend Dean Arnold picked us up on his scarab, so it was kind of like a James Bond or a Mission Impossible type <laughs> stunt. That was the best. You flew. Definitely. You landed right on the beach, huh? Landed right on the strip of sand. Yep. Now, you know, I've been to that, to Key Wayne before, and it's not a very wide beach. How did you... In once... No, it's not. That type of a jump, but, you know, then your the accuracy of your landing spot is important. You don't want to land in the water, definitely. As opposed to going into the mangroves? <laughs> yeah. So did you land in the sand or I did you get your on feet the wet? Sand. One of my friends landed in the water just like a few feet, but no big deal. Killer. Did you fly in a jumpsuit or did you just come right straight to the beach in your bikini? I was in a I was in my bikini, tank top and shorts, yeah. I wish we had some video of that. Yeah, would you, that would you do it again sometime? Skinny, you should have been there to videotape that one, definitely. <laughs> yeah, maybe we could set it up again.
Haley, what are you getting ready to do? Tell us. Uh, next best thing to the real thing.
Yeah, next time. Are you Chill. Yeah. But it gets you $28.50 tickets. You don't have to go back through the class again. We just suit you up for you back in there. In fact, we just need reservations because we're pretty busy. Did you guys have fun though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Great. Excellent. And then when you're all done, just put everything up here on the counter. I'll print you a souvenir flight certificate. I want to go again! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, that could get addictive in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's an expensive habit. <laughs> I'm a legal drug dealer. I sell crack. <laughs> I mean, hair. <laughs> If you guys wanted to buy more time, like 10 minutes is a maximum of two people. It's $145 for 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, it's one or two persons. It's $145 total, and that gets you 10 minutes of flying time. Um, 15 minutes is $200, and that's up one, two, or three persons. Or the whole half an hour, it's just you and your group. In there, it's $350, or the whole hour, like the group before us, they bought the half an hour. It's $350, so, okay. What is the deal again with the ticket stub? Um, if you come back within 90 days, it's $28.50 okay. tickets for the same two minutes of flight time. Okay. Okay, so come around here and tell me your Go name. Go ahead. Ask them what time they open in the morning. <laughs> um, I don't think we have a class until like 2 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, take you out to the Yeah, I think I did that. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, good job, good job. See ya. See ya. Alright. You think we should go out the exit side? Doing thank you for flying and then you go out the door. Be careful going out the stairs too. Oh. Never mind. I thought we were going to have to stay. It's not so good on land. 
Okay, we just got back from the Sky Adventure. What'd you think, Julie? Woo! <laughs> I want to go again. <laughs> <laughs> Was it good? Excellent, excellent. How, how did it compare to regular skydiving? Did you get the sensation? I mean, it was a really good simulation. It's a very good simulation, definitely. Um, I can see how it's a little bit different as far as your maneuvering and the space that you have is, you know, just that narrow wind tunnel. When you're in the sky, you have the whole sky. But uh, the Professional Zero is very impressed. Very cool acrobatics freestyle moves. Yeah, with with 250 jumps behind you, I would think you know you know how to maneuver and stuff. It, were they holding you back because it was your first time in there? They did ask me not to do flips and or try any um, moves. They just wanted to see, first of all, that um, I'm capable of holding a steady position, and then they like to work with you from there. Yeah. So. So you're going to go back again sometime, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Guess what I'm doing? I'm making I'm making a DVD um, with my photographer friend, Bill Moore Skinny. I don't know if you know him. He's friends with Shriver and Dean and all them. But anyways, we're making a, a video and we want to do like thrill-seeking stuff. So, yes, last night I went into, I'm in Orlando, we went to this wind tunnel. So it's like 120 mile an hour winds in this wind vertical wind tunnel and you get in there in your skydive suit and your goggles and turn and flip around and stuff. <laughs> so I did that, Good, get this, so then I did that. Then today we came over to Daytona Beach, we're on the beach and I did this slingshot ride where it's like this ball, you sit it in and they launch you into the air and it spins around and stuff and that was pretty cool. But then the best one was like this Superman ride. It was called the Sky Coaster. And you like lay on your stomach in this harness thing and they stretch you way back and then launch you out over the beach. It's like Superman. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> the spirit moved me. <laughs> And then so tonight we're going to do the nighttime slingshot in Orlando, which is they supposedly launch you out of a volcano. <laughs> and then, but then for the Grand Slam, we're looking for a place that's got a bungee. Welcome to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> 